Todd. Uh, looking forward today to hearing your views on using the SCORE framework as a practical framework for to benchmark and improve supply chain structures. And my first question is, can you um, explain what is the SCORE framework? Okay, so the, the SCORE framework is basically a, a kind of skeletal structure uh, that works across any goods and services industry, and it's basically been put together by a group of uh, corporations and uh, defined really, and it's uh, run, and uh, the iterations are improved by the Supply Chain Council, the SCC, which is now part of uh, APEX, of course, and they've merged now. Um, and uh, my my understanding of, of SCORE or my appreciation of SCORE is that it's it's basically uh, a lot of the times within corporations, their view of how supply chain is structured or should be structured for their industry uh, can be fairly subjective. And they don't necessarily have a frame of reference to go to and say, okay, guys, how, how do we structure our organization or how do we structure our processes? What are the metrics that we need to do? Um, they would usually the extent of the benchmarking that they will go to is they will look at other corporations operating in the industry uh, that they're working on and try and leverage off the best examples of success that they can see there. So there was a lack of uh, and a need for something that would run across industries uh, as a general framework for what could define success uh, for your supply chain department. And it wouldn't necessarily mean that something that works well in the electronics industry would work well in the manufacturing industry, would work well in the financial services industry. But they work on the general principle uh, that the uh, on, on how processes should be structured, on how performance should be structured. Um, on people uh, and on practices. And it's a skeletal structure that you have to refer to in relation to how your organization works. So it's not a shopping list. It's uh, it's not something that you go to and pick out, oh, I'll do everything that's in score. You basically have to map out your processes, your business structure. And then score is something that you can reference to to improve on that and to use that to benchmark and add on iterations that would make sense. Um, so yeah, and, and there are ways of using that, of course. Uh, so it's a very powerful application uh, heavy tool. Um, I've had the privilege of using it in a number of companies now. Um, and personally, I'm a real believer that uh, it's, a, it's a very useful tool for developing the supply chain organization. And uh, can you talk more about how it can help? Um, so basically, uh, there are many different ways of using SCORE. Uh, traditionally, when the Supply Chain Council certifies you for uh, as a SCORE professional on their own formal courses, they tend to do a very high level uh, process called the SCORE project. And that would be driven more down from the C-suit level on how the company strategy or its different supply chains need to be aligned. Um, so there's a definite top-down way of looking at your organization. And basically the way that would work is you would start off by looking at the score metrics. So score has four or five key uh, and they call them attributes, um, uh, the agility, responsiveness, reliability, um, the uh, asset management, um, and uh, cost. So basically, uh, the, the idea around score uh, is that you would target what is the level of excellence that I need within each of these attributes? So am I okay with being mid, tape, mid of the range median in, uh, in terms of agility, but what I want my company is that the reliability and responsiveness needs to be really high. And then you work backwards from there 
to see, okay, if my reliability and responsiveness needs to be top of class, what do I need to do in terms of practices, in terms of processes? And SCORE gives you a really strong structure to do that. So it, it, it's a tool that you can use to strategize how the company should be structured top down. And it can also be used at the absolute tactical level where I can go to SCORE and I have, and I'm using this within my current company as well, where, for example, I have, uh, I, I'm setting up, I'm looking at process re-engineering for my import uh, warehousing. Um, and the import warehousing process at the moment will change dramatically because of the infrastructure investment that we are anticipating. Because of the automation that would come in, uh, the process would change and then before the practices will change and I want to and I'm using score to help define uh, the individual steps of the business process map uh, and again that there's an entire toolkit on how you do this uh, within score so for example score can give you what is possible uh, inputs and outputs into a process. And you could look at your process step and see, well, this particular process step relates to uh, a similar process step within SCORE. Um, it uh, could potentially have these inputs and these outputs. Uh, am I missing out on certain due diligence or checks that I need to do prior to that activity? And is there some output from that that I could use to measure the process that I'm not doing? So they, from the absolute tactical level to the absolute strategic level, uh, SCORE gives you a very uh, diverse toolkit on how to uh, work on your supply chain structures. Uh, and where have you seen some success? Um, so, for example, again, this is more at the, the tactical level in terms of process re-engineering. Uh, we, uh, I was part of uh, a MNC operating out of uh, Australia where they were restructuring certain operations uh, and were looking to outsource some of the sourcing functions to Indonesia. And a big part of that success and how those processes changed was driven by SCORE. If they had simply translated the processes as they were in Australia, to say, okay, we just pick up these activities and ship them off to Indonesia. The process would have been a lot less rigorous than when they said, okay, this is our as is. Uh, this is the ideal state uh, as defined by SCORE. And this is the future state as we can possibly bring it to in the immediate form. And then maybe we can push it towards the ideal state in the future. And so with SCORE, it would give a much more diverse checklist on what the individual process steps should have taken into account. What are the KPIs that you could potentially measure for those processes? And so it has a much more holistic cross industry benchmarking import into defining a, a specific business process. And that's an absolute tactical example. But the, the decision to, for example, change from Australia uh, to Indonesia in terms of the uh, the sourcing or uh, of certain products and the manufacturing of certain products could be driven at a more strategic level sitting at the regional hub where they could for example use score to say okay I need more reliability and responsiveness so how does my overall supply chain look at the global level if these are really key for me that means I maybe need to take a best practice out of score and that's maybe you know uh, regional manufacturing or maybe I need to do toll manufacturing somewhere and out of that particular thought process would have come a, a certain decision. So uh, the idea is that, you know, it, it could drive those strategic decisions that lead to big changes in how the organization works and on the tactical level on how those are actually implemented or work well, uh, SCORE helps define a more uh, a more structured way of approaching how the process is re-engineered as well. And do you have any final recommendations? Um, I, I think the, the big part uh, with corporates is, uh, or corporations is usually, uh, very often you could have a lot of in-house talent uh, and they would come across with a recommendation. And if the same thing was to come across from an external consultant, 
unfortunately the uh, the external consultant because you're paying him quite a bit he comes with a lot more pedigree sometimes it could be the same thing but because it has a greater ring of credibility to it you would go along and say okay yeah that works well um and at a departmental level or a country level uh, to convince your regional uh, board or from a regional board to convince the global hq sometimes when you're working on something as well known and as uh, tried and tested as core to define your process as well as we are structuring this process this way because these are the, the final recommendation would be to uh, to use score primarily as a way of uh, a kind of well defined uh, well reputed credible source for defining critical changes in your company's supply chain structures or processes uh for the simple reason that individuals within the companies could recommend certain changes but they wouldn't come across with the same ring of credibility as an external consultant company like uh, Boston consulting for example coming across and telling you oh, this is what you need to do because they simply have a greater pedigree in advising for those changes and score has that pedigree assigned to it in terms of a skeletal structure that works well for different businesses um that have implemented score and uh, score implementations have been a, a big part of differentiating those companies and usually that is seen translating it to business results um the scc usually publishes uh three companies that would uh, have implemented score well and have used it to show significant successes uh, in pakistan we had a score implementation by pakistan tobacco five uh, around 2005 or 6 some a decade back almost and that uh interestingly has is a similar time period to when they've pretty much taken over the uh, tobacco industry in pakistan so the implementation of score seems to coincide with a significant improvement in their business results so not only does it seem to have a proven track record when companies that have implemented it well but it also is a better way of structuring your processes or organization because when you're selling it to the board or selling it uh, upwards to the c suite uh, it, it comes across with a greater ring of credibility um and of course then there's the the branding opportunity for the company if they uh, if they're affiliated with the scc uh, and proven to be uh, you know have one of the uh, more neutral recognize neutrally recognized uh, quality supply chain structure so so there's a lot of opportunities in implementing score but rather than the glory i i would focus on the fact that it actually works it's application centric um and it is going to take a lot less effort for supply chain managers to convince their organizational uh, hierarchy the guys these are the changes we need to make uh, to be equipped for the future and thank you can you and you know, my last question is can you provide a brief background of yourself so um i'm basically a supply chain professional i've worked across uh, a number of industries i'm not actually uh by by profession i'm a mechanical engineer but my my passion is definitely now supply chain and i've worked in the agrochemical industry with a uh, swiss corporation called syngenta i've spent some time working with uh with in tobacco with uh company called philip morris and i've had the opportunity to be based in various parts of the world with them uh, particularly in australia and pakistan um I currently work for the Emirates Group um uh, and I represent uh the uh the ground handling company Dinata in Pakistan and I look after their supply chain operations here. Um I'm also score P certified uh from my time in Australia. Um uh, I happen to be a very rare breed in Pakistan so I'm working with a lot of the local institutes in trying to develop uh a greater use of score not only in corporations here uh 
um, and uh, but also to try and set up uh, an ambit for score certifications here, but that's a longer term process. Um, and there's been a lot of interest in that. I've done a few guest speaker sessions with some of the universities here. So normally uh, it's not a very well known subject here, but there are a few companies that have done score implementations. Um, and it seems to have a marked improvement in their uh, business processes because the supply chain rather than becoming only the links in, in the organizational chain, they really do take to heart the concept of the supply chain capital THE and the fact that you have to have a cross uh, cutting view of your supply chain uh, from end to end and that needs to define how the uh, uh, the entire process works rather than uh, uh, based on how the commercial and operational elements need to run and that driving the rest of the process. So I, I think that approach or that change in perspective uh, has a significant improvement in success. Um, so I'm a big believer in, in how, what SCORE can do for, uh, for, the, for your organizations. And thank you again for sharing today. No, absolute pleasure. Thank you for having me, Dustin.